students this is the third class of antihistamines so in this class we are going to see some important antihistaminic agents the first one is diphenhydramine hydrochloride it is available in hydrochloride form from the name itself we are telling it is having two phenyl rings that is diphenno so that is indicating two phenyl rings so we'll see the structure for the structure actually uh, this would be the parent so what is that it is called ethylamine ch3 ch2 nh2 that is called ethylamine in that second carbon of ethylamine is connected with methoxy and the carbon of a methoxy group is having two phenyl rings here the nitrogen of ethylamine is attached with the two methyl groups so that is the structure of diphenhydramine so once again i'll repeat that so what is the parent it is having ethylamine moiety in the ethylamine moiety second carbon is connected with methoxy and the carbon of methoxy group is having two phenyl rings and the nitrogen of ethylamine is attached with two methyl groups so what is the chemical name what is the parent here that is called ethylamine in that ethylamine second carbon is having this one that is diphenyl methoxy what about non nitrogen nitrogen is having two methyl that's why it is called nn dimethyl in the two open bracket diphenyl this is methoxy then ethylamine so that is the chemical name of diphenhydramine now we'll see the synthesis of diphenhydramine for that this would be the starting material what is that this is called diphenyl methane so first diphenyl methane is taken and that undergoes bromination by means of bromine on bromination what happens h combines with br and that is removed as hbr so we are getting bromo derivative with the bromo derivative we are adding nn dimethyl ethanolamine so without methyl that can be called ethanolamine so ch3 ch2 oh is called ethanol in that one carbon is replaced by means of amino group means that can be called ethanolamine and here this two hydrogens that is attached with the nitrogen no they are replaced by means of methyl means that is called as dimethyl so nn dimethyl ethanolamine before that how we are getting that nn dimethyl ethanolamine by the addition of two reagents one is called 2 chloroethanol so by the addition of 2 chloroethanol with dimethyl amine so by the addition of these two its cl would be removed that's why this n ch3 twice no that would be added with this carbon and we are getting this one that is called nn dimethyl ethanol amine so by the addition of these two what you are getting hbr is removed so the left group no o ch2 ch2 um n ch3 twice no that would be added with this carbon and we are getting diphenhydramine so that is the synthesis of diphenhydramine once again i'll repeat that first we are taking diphenyl methane that undergoes bromination we are getting bromo derivative and now first we have taken that is called 2 chloroethanol and that one is treated with dimethyl amine by the addition of these two hcl would be removed and we are getting nn dimethyl ethanol amine now this one reacts with the bromo derivative of diphenyl methane hbr is removed and we are getting diphenhydramine in the structure of diphenhydramine it is having tertiary amine if the tertiary amine is converted to quaternary ammonium salt what you are getting the antihistaminic activity would not be altered but which would be increased the anticholinergic activity would be increased and what is the main side effect of diphenhydramine that is the drowsiness now we'll see the uses of diphenhydramine it is used as an anti dyskinetic anti emetic anti muscarinic and sedative used in otp sleep aid products used in the treatment of uric area seasonal rhinitis and some dermatosis next drug is dimenhydramine this is having similar structure with diphenhydramine with only two differences one is in the case of diphenhydramine here that nitrogen no that is a tertiary amine but here it is a quaternary amine and it is also a theophylline salt that is 8 chloro theophylline salt this part now this is called as theophylline and it is having chlorine in eighth position so that's why it is called 8 chloro theophylline so that's why it is called as 8 chloro theophylline salt of diphenhydramine so nomenclature would be same as that of diphenhydramine that is 2 2 diphenyl because ethylamine is the parent one so second carbon of ethylamine is attached with this one that's why 2 2 diphenyl methoxy nn dimethyl ethylamine 8 chloro theophylline so that is the chemical name of diphenhydramine uh, it is used to overcome the side effects of diphenhydramine because what is the main side effect of diphenhydramine that is drowsiness and nervousness so by converting the tertiary amine into quaternary amine and also by the addition of the theophylline uh, this one no side effect would be 
overcome. It is used for the nausea of motion sickness and pregnancy. The pregnancy, mm, nausea of pregnancy, you know, that can be called as hyperemesis gravidarum. So, what is it? It is the vomiting sensation during pregnancy. So, that is all about diamond hydrinate. Next drug is doxylamine succinate. It is also having similar structure with diphenhydramine. But in the case of diphenhydramine, that is having two phenyl rings. Here, one phenyl ring is replaced by means of pyridine. And here, in the case of diphenhydramine, in that portion, only H is there. But here, it is having methyl. So, that is the difference between diphenhydramine with uh, doxylamine succinate. So, what are the differences? One is, one phenyl ring is replaced by means of pyridine ring. And hydrogen is replaced by means of methyl. So, here this one, no, this is called as pyridine. Here this part, this is called as ethoxy. And this is, no, that can be called benzyl. What is meant by benzyl? C6HYCH2, no, that can be called benzyl. So, this carbon of benzyl, no, can, that can be called alpha carbon. So, a methyl is attached with the alpha carbon of benzyl. So, here this would be taken as the parent. Pyridine is taken as the parent for numbering is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, second portion of pyridine is connected with all these. That is why 2 open bracket in that here ethoxy, no, that is in that first carbon of ethoxy is connected with nitrogen. That is why 1 open bracket NN dimethyl, this is amino, then ethoxy, this is alpha methyl. Methyl is attached with the alpha carbon. That is why alpha methyl, totally this is benzyl. So, that is the chemical name. It is available as a succinate salt. So, this is called succinic acid. So, it is available as a succinate salt. Used in the treatment of seasonal rhinitis syndrome and used as a night time sedative and also used with anti tussives and decongestants for relief of cough and cold. So, what is the difference between doxylamine succinate with diphenhydramine? Only two differences. The phenyl ring is replaced by means of pyridine and here the H is replaced by means of methyl and it is available as a succinate salt. Next we are going to see clamastin fumarate that is otherwise called as meclastin. Okay, this is the structure of clamastin fumarate. So what is that? It is having one carbon, that one is having methyl and with the carbon one end it is having phenyl ring, another one parachlorophenyl. So, totally this can be called as ethoxy. So, two carbons no with oxygen. That is why ethoxy. This part is called ethyl. The first carbon of ethyl, what is attached to this ring? No, that can be called as pyrrolidin because five-membered heterocyclic ring with one nitrogen that can be called as pyrrole. If it is having only one bond inside mean that is called as pyrrolin without any bonds that can be called pyrrolidin. So, this is called as pyrrolidin. So, one methyl pyrrolidin. Here, this pyrrolidin is taken as a parent. The second portion of pyrrolidin, the whole thing would be attached. So, in that, in that second portion, again, ethyl, second carbon of ethyl is connected with that. In that, first carbon of ethoxy is connected with this one and this one. That is why, uh, this 2 open bracket, again this 2 open bracket, 1 open bracket, 4 chlorophenyl or parachlorophenyl, then 1 phenyl, this is ethoxy, then ethyl, close bracket, 1 methyl or N methyl pyrrolidin. So, that is the chemical name. So, what is the heterocyclic ring present in clamastin? That is called pyrrolidin. It is available as a fumarate salt. It has anticholinergic properties and sedative side effects. It is used to relieve hay fever, itching and swelling of hives. So, what is the difference between clamastin fumarate with uh, diphenhydramine? Uh, in the case of diphenhydramine, here it is having di uh, dimethyl amine. So, that dime N dimethyl amine, no, that is replaced by means of N methyl pyrrolidin. And also here, H is replaced by means of methyl and this ring no, that is having chlorine. So, totally three differences between clamastin fumarate with diphenhydramine. So, what are they? One is N and dimethyl amine is replaced by means of N methyl pyrrolidin and the first carbon of this carbon is having hydrogen for diphenhydramine. But here it is having methyl and one phenyl, this one no, having chlorine but diphenhydramine is not having that chlorine. Our next drug is called diphenyl pyrrolene hydrochloride that is otherwise called as DPP, diphenyl pyrrolene hydrochloride. 
so what is the structure it is also having two phenyl rings and these two are connected with the carbon that is connected with methylene bridge and that one is having oxygen so this is called methoxy and the oxygen of methoxy is connected with the fourth position of pi peridine so what is meant by pi peridine six membered heterocyclic ring having nitrogen with bonds that can be called as pyridine without bonds that can be called pi peridine but here the first nitrogen is having methyl so what is the difference between diphenyl pyridine with diphen hydramine in the case of diphen hydramine that is also having this one uh, what is the two phenyl rings that are connected to methylene bridge and that is having one oxygen but uh, next it should have a dimethyl amino ethyl group so that is replaced by means of n methyl piperidine so that is the difference it is coming under first generation antihistamine and it is diphenyl piperidine structure so because of this structure it has anticholinergic effects it is used in the treatment of allergies and it acts as a dopamine reuptake inhibitor and used in the treatment of parkinsonism so what is the chemical name for the chemical name this should be taken as the parent that is piperidine is taken as the parent in that first position is having methyl fourth position only this should be attached that's why four open bracket diphenyl two phenyl no so diphenyl methoxy one methyl piperidine so that is the chemical name of diphenyl pyridine so what is the difference between diphenyl pyridine with uh, diphenhydramine in the case of diphenhydramine that is having n um n n dimethyl ethyl group so that is replaced by means of one methyl or n methyl piperidine this would be same this part is same for both but this would be different so instead of this diphenhydramine is having n n dimethyl ethyl group other drugs we'll see in next class